it's time for another IT certification review. This is a little special because I challenge myself. Hell yeah! I only spent more or less 10 days in preparation. No dumps. I also didn't attend any training. Most are stored knowledge. This is AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. Probably the most valuable entry-level certification, not associate level. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am Career and Certification Captain, or 3C. On this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. First, what is AWS or Amazon Web Service? Well, it's a cloud computing giant. The most gigantic, powerful, and wealthiest of them all is one of the big three cloud computing service provider. The other two are Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform or GCP. Again, AWS is a cloud computing service provider and they offer reliable, scalable, and inexpensive services. They offer not just compute storage database network services, but some of the advanced services as well. And under cybersecurity, they also offer vulnerability assessment, threat detection, forensic, web application firewall, and many others. They also have these AWS Marketplace, where customers buy, deploy, manage third-party software and vendor solutions. From there, the AWS Marketplace, you would see vendors like Cisco, F5, Palo Alto, Fortinet, etc. And I'm telling you guys this, AWS is massive. You can't imagine how many services they offer. All right, um, AWS certification program is a little strange. They have associate level certifications, such as solution architect, developer, and sysops administrator. All of these three are associate level. But a lot of AWS professionals starts from this entry-level certification, which is AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. Um, this is also considered as foundational type of certification. This is not just for engineers and tech professionals. Also those into sales and marketing take this certification as well. So. Let's talk about more on AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. It's a written type of exam, and it consists of 65 questions. And more or less, it's two hours. You can schedule and take the exam via person VUE, and it can be remote, or you can go to VUE Testing Center. So there's no prerequisite. You can take the exam directly. It costs only 100 US dollars, but there are some vouchers out there and it gives you 50% up to 100% discount. So it's not really expensive. Preparation time. Like what I mentioned, it only took me less than a couple of weeks. There are like three or four days that I didn't really study because I still need to work. My primary material for this exam is this. Six practice exams, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, CLF-C01. This is not an exam dump. It doesn't give you the actual Q&A for the actual exam. This material is even more difficult. So basically, this is what I did. I took the practice exam 
and of course I failed the first attempt. Then I review all of those questions and the answer. The answer actually have this supporting document. And from there, you would understand the concepts, terminologies, and why is this specific technology, specific solution, or specific services is the right answer. All right. Now, what would benefit you if you obtain this certification? First, this certification is a requirement for AWS partners. So yeah, it has a value. Second, most of the things you know in IT infrastructure and in IT solution, AWS have them all. What you need to understand is how these technologies are used in the cloud environment. All right, you name it. Switches, routers, firewalls, storage solutions, load balancers, IAM or AAA, VPNs, different types of databases, analytics, and many more. Becoming a cloud professional is something that is highly in demand right now. And getting this certification is the first step. Should I take the certification before CCNA or other valuable certifications? I suggest no. We will talk about this in another video. Exam tips. I only have quite minimal AWS hands-on experience. It's more on VPC, Elastic Load Balancer, and Web Application Firewall. But despite of it, I passed the exam in just 10 days of preparation. Okay, my knowledge and experience in various technologies, you name it from application, database, virtualization, networking, and security, help me easily understand many AWS cloud services. For example, F5 alone, most of its modules and solutions for F5 Big IP are in AWS. For example, we have the LTM or Local Traffic Manager. This is equivalent to AWS ELB or Elastic Load Balancer. We have F5 DNS slash GTM, or formerly known as GTM, this is equivalent to AWS Route 53. F5, they have ASM, that's their WAF, and AWS, they have WAF called AWS WAF. F5 have, has this distributed cloud, and it's a CDN. AWS also have their own CDN, which is AWS CloudFront, and many more. So my tip is just start with the basics. Go for CCNA or FIVCA as your first certification. Uh, no Linux, no virtualization as well, and many more. Because the exam doesn't really ask you the basics. It asks you which AWS services you need for this specific situation. For example, which service you use in hybrid cloud, connecting cloud resources to your on-premise data center which storage solution you need for this specific use case. We have EBS, S3, EFS, etc. They don't ask you the difference between block, volume, and file storage. You also need to know many types of database, like NoSQL, relational, hierarchical, etc. Also, I suggest practice the pricing and billing tools. And lastly, spend time understanding AWS well-architected framework. Also, this is what I did. I took lots of notes, okay, like this one. So I listed the names of services, uh, I listed the right answers, and added some keywords next to it, okay. And uh, I also draw diagram. So I draw EC2, how it connects to VPC, ELB, uh, storage, and I also added which APIs they use, and many more. Now, let's make a verdict. It's time to write this certification. First, exam content, I will give it five. We have storage, networking, database, security, data center, and over 50 AWS services were introduced. Next, 
relevance to current technology. Definitely five. We have significant increase of cloud migrations since even before pandemic, and it keeps growing. So the shift is towards cloud. AWS is the most popular cloud service provider. Next, value for money. I will give it five. Of course, it's only 100 US dollars. And when you pass the exam, you will also get 50% discount voucher for your next exam. Market demand, despite this certification is just an entry level, the demand is so high. So I will give it five. Do you agree with my ratings?